uh, what do you want me to do again? What's up everybody? Uh, it's Tom with Ferris Engineering. Today we're going to be installing our brake duct kit for the Ford Mustang GT350R. Uh, it should fit the GT350 as well. And uh, let's get to it. All right, so what you're going to get in the package is obviously two ducts, one for each side. You're going to get a couple M5 bolts, some washers, and a couple nylock nuts. Uh, what you're going to need is a eight millimeter wrench. And you can use an Allen key, but um, I spent my life savings on snap-on tools. So I'm going to use a quarter inch ratchet with a three millimeter uh, Allen socket on it. And this is going to be a real simple one today. Um, should take us about, depending on how long it takes to uh, jack the car up, probably under half an hour. All right. Uh, we're lucky enough to have a lift here. Um, you should be able to get this done pretty easily with a set of jack stands and a jack. Uh, we took the wheel off so it's easier to see in the video. However, you probably don't need to take the wheel off if you can get underneath it. Uh, if you're very skilled, you might even be able to just do it without jacking the car up uh, and turning the wheel all the way to the right or left side, depending on the side that you're installing it. So Ford conveniently left us with two bolt holes here on the control arm. And these are the two holes that we're going to end up using to install the brake ducts. And here we go. So you're going to want to slot the bolts through there and the, it's going to come with one washer and two nylock nuts. The washer is going to go on the upper bolt on the back side. There's some light. You can see that there's a washer on the top and we're just going to put a nylock on the bottom. Uh, you can see here there's really not a lot of room for a washer to sit there. All right, so we're going to grab those tools that you, grab, you grabbed earlier. Ratchet on the front, wrench on the back. Make sure your ratchet is flipped to on and just tighten away. Now, I should say you could probably have an extension here if it makes it easier for you. Uh, I'm able to get in here pretty easily here, so. All right, so as you can see, we have this installed now. Um, the holes here are slotted, so you do have some room to move around. Uh, you wanna make sure that as you tighten this up and you get it into place, you don't wanna be touching any other components like the tie rod end uh, or anything else. Uh, these are M5 bolts, like I said earlier, so you don't wanna kill them. You wanna bottom the nylocks out and probably give them just a little uh, a little bit extra, probably around five to seven foot pounds here. The nylock nuts on the back are going to keep these things from backing out um, under you know, any kind of vibration or anything like that. But as you can see, very easy install, two bolts. Once you get it lined up, tighten them up and put the car back down, you're good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. Uh, this was an easy one. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, you can email us at sales at varusengineering.com or you can comment below if you'd like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the follow button. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.